Nearly 10 years ago, one of my closest friends was in her apartment doing spring cleaning and she left the door open to let in fresh air. A young man knocked on the door, asked for directions, and left. He returned a few minutes later, forced his way into the apartment, and assaulted her. She was taken to the nearest hospital and they called us to meet her at the emergency room. When we arrived, they wouldn't let us see her at first and they said someone would come out to explain what was going on. The person that came out was a volunteer from Safe Place. She explained to us the procedures that protect victims of sexual attacks, and that as a volunteer for Safe Place, her top priority was providing comfort and support to our friend as she went through a medical examination and the collection of forensic evidence. If the only thing Safe Place did was to ensure that victims of rape, sexual abuse, and domestic violence had a sympathetic, trained person to guide them through the aftermath of such traumatic events, that would be enough. But they also provide legal advocacy counseling services, secure transitional housing, and educational programs to help victims get their lives back on track. With their help, my friend is still a strong, independent, beautiful woman, and that's why I support Safe Place. If you or someone you know could use some help, please follow the link in the sidebar to get more information about Safe Place, and consider donating or volunteering to help make Austin a safer place to live.